Bobby Cody. I'm the director of music at Living Word Lutheran High School in Jackson, Wisconsin. So I'm the director of music, which means I do almost everything music related. I've been here six years. I teach band, acapella choir, which is our top audition group of 40, men's and women's choir, praise and worship team, and then I've also coached drumline, done jazz, vocal jazz, guitar class, songwriting, music theory as a part of the curriculum, and all those things. So when I first started teaching, I taught a religion class and a German too, and then the program gradually has grown to the point that it needed me to be a full-time music teacher, and now it's actually grown to the point where we have so many kids that we have two teachers, so I'm not alone, which is cool. grad, um, my bachelor's degree from Concordia University in Nebraska in K-12 music education, choral and instrumental. So that means I can teach kindergarten through 12th grade vocal and instrumental music, which is an awesome way to do it. If you're considering doing music ed as a career, I would highly suggest doing that so that you're nice and marketable. You can find a job anywhere. In my undergrad, I, I learned the basics of teaching, like what do people need to know if you're going to teach them something and how do people learn. And then, of course, you know, through all the ensembles, which rock socks at Concordia, Nebraska, we got introduced to a lot of great literature. We got to play a lot of it. Got to travel all over the country and network with people that would soon become my colleagues. That's actually how I ended up in this job. And then, I mean, just in general, you know, learning how to administer a classroom, how to run a program, how to build a program. So really great, um, really great job there. And I'm about to finish my master's degree in music education with an emphasis in conducting from Colorado State University. I'm really excited about that. It's an awesome program. Um, my master's degree is a little bit different focus. It's really refining what I believe about music education. And then it's giving me a much higher level of skill as a conductor and as a rehearsal leader, which are two very important things. You'd be surprised how much that matters. Music is not the work, <laughs> uh, it's all the other stuff. Some examples of that are like doing a budget, booking buses for field trips, taking care of a tire, making sure things get laundered and dry cleaned, keeping a, a list of who's paid for tour, or setting up tour stuff, like all of those emails, there's just hundreds and hundreds of emails that you do. Setting up for performance venues, we don't have a concert venue, we don't have like a, an auditorium or anything, so we do it in our gym. So we have to set up huge black curtains and lights and chairs and a stage and everything every time we have a concert. So that feels like work sometimes. Interacting with kids every day, watching them grow as people and as musicians is the greatest part about the job. Watching them go closer to their Lord and gain maturity through music is excellent. I can point to who it was. Her name is Linda McGinn. She's my high school choir director. She taught me freshman through junior year, and then she left my senior year. And when she left, I was just pretty devastated. And I realized like how big of a hole that left and how important the person that was to me. And I just felt like, you know, that's a pretty cool job to be able to affect people. Music is cool because you get to see kids for four years in a row. So I gained these really awesome relationships. <laughs> Limit yourself by what you think you want now. I remember saying I would never live in Wisconsin as a kid. <laughs> Here I am, right out the window of Wisconsin right now. You know, and I remember saying in college I would never teach middle school and I would never lead praise and worship. And that's what I'm doing in my next job. I'm actually transitioning jobs this year. So God just kind of laughs when you tell him what you think and what you want. And then he uses you exactly as you see fit. But it's cool because you still have joy in it. The other thing I would say is that Please, 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 if you consider music education um, as a career, please know that it's not about you. Like, this is not a show where you go in and you make yourself this great conductor and the music is always going to be amazing and people are going to come up and shake your hand. Like, that might happen, but that's not what it's about. And if you make it about that, your program will fail. And people will hate it and kids won't want to come to your class. Music is about, first of all, glorifying the one who made it and bringing people the message of, of salvation through music. But then right after that is being edified and built up ourselves and learning about ourselves and becoming better humans through making music. It's a very collaborative process. It's a very internal process, one where we learn about ourselves as we make music. So we learn to love people as God would have us love them in the music making process.
Thank you.